Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So we are filming a very exciting video today. It's one of my favorite videos and I know it's one of your favorite videos. It is my Sephora gratis haul. So I have two big bags. They did not disappoint. Yes, two big gratis bags and I'm super excited for this gratis because it's like I've said in the other gratis hauls recently, and I'll link a few of them above here. It is just a surprise every time that I open them and the bag size is just always the best surprise ever. <laughs> so let's start with the smaller bag and we'll work our way to the bigger bag. So for this gratis, um, I love that it has little containers. There is some complexion and it's some really good complexion. Or you guys can see, but that's, that's Armani there. Just saying. So we have, let me not drop anything. So here we have the Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. I have heard such good reviews on this foundation and I have yet to try it. So this is gonna be very exciting. I've swatched it in store since we finally got Armani and it was like a really good, really good lightweight, um, medium to full coverage, but definitely buildable foundation. So I got it in the shade six, which right now is looking a little yellow just because I'm tanning, but we'll figure it out. We'll get there. We'll figure it out. We'll make it work. The other item in here is the Armani Luminous Silk Concealer, and I got this in the shade 4.5. I love the wand on this. I don't know if you guys have seen it. Maybe I'm just the last one to like get caught up, but I'm going to do a review on this for sure. My first impressions, I've never tried it. I don't know anything about Armani or its formulas, but I am absolutely willing to learn and try. The other thing I got is the Anastasia Brow Pen. It is actually their um, felt tip brow pen. I'm looking forward to trying this. I'm going on a trip this weekend and I'm going to take it. This is more of like a natural everyday type of brow. Uh, it's not going to layer or it's not going to thicken up your brow. It's definitely just going to help you give you that feather type of look is what I've seen. The other thing in here was the Sephora Collection Brow Pencil. This is their waterproof retractable brow pencil. I got it in the shade Chocolate Brown. I've tried this with clients in store and it is really good. I really do like that product. It's a very inexpensive version of the Anastasia Brows. The other item that I got in here is also a complexion item. This is the Lancome Tint Idol Longwear Foundation. I really like this foundation. This foundation is actually uh, another one of my go-tos when I'm doing bridal makeup or when I'm doing makeovers, especially if the client has um, a long time before they have to go to their photo shoot or their event or if they're super oily because it is a mattifying foundation. This is the sunscreen up to 24 hour transfer resistant foundation. I really like this. You guys have tried any of these foundations and you wanna rate them for me, comment down below and do that because I have tried the Tinty Doll by Lancome but I have not tried the Luminous Silk. If there's anything else here that I haven't tried and you're like, you need to try that tomorrow or like today, <laughs> Um, comment down below and let me know. I would absolutely love to find out what you guys like and don't like. So the next item is the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Push Up Lashes Mascara. I really like mascara wands that look like this. Um, they're that silicone, um, a comb instead of a brush, which I am obsessed with. I haven't heard anything good, bad, indifferent about this mascara, but a new mascara is always nice. This is the Drunk Elephant Hydra Intensive Serum. I'm obsessed with this serum. I have it in my traveling bag. I have it in my actual, um, I have another one in gratis. I really like this hydrating serum. It's perfect for dry skin. It's perfect for normal skin. It's perfect for all skin. It's so lightweight. And my favorite thing about Drunk Elephant skincare is that I like to cocktail everything together. So what I'll do is I'll take a pump of this and a pump of that and a scoop of this and just kind of mix it in my hands and work it in. They're meant and formulated to just be cocktailed like that and they will work just as good. So I love, love, love that. The other item in the smaller bag is by Dior. So this is a Dior Sorbet Cream um, Hydrating Moisturizer. Um, I have not tried any of the Dior moisturizers. Again, if you've tried it and you love it, comment down below. I've only tried the Dior serums and I am obsessed. My husband is obsessed. So I, I only have good things, good things 
to expect from this. I just don't know that I love the fact that all of Dior is like super fragrance, you know? So moving on to the bigger bag, I just have to show you guys this bag again because it's ridiculous. Like, hi. <laughs> So this is the Diva Curl Build Up Buster. It is a micellar water cleansing serum, which is nice. I have a keratin treatment and I only wash my hair like every other week. And I do dry shampooing in between then and I work out almost every day. So it's very important to have something like a detoxing shampoo or a, something like that to help get all like that uh, dry shampoo off. So this is a fragrance sample by Rosie Jane. It's no paraben, no phthalates, no petrochems, or no nasties. How cute. It's sustainable, cruelty-free, and vegan. I'm trying to get this open without messing it up, but it's probably not going to happen. And it's just got a ton of little fragrance minis, which I love to travel with. This is cute. There's one to th there's seven fragrances in here so huh clean equals cool i like it so we'll see i haven't smelled any of these fragrances or maybe i haven't i just don't remember but i like the fact that they like come pre-sorted in this thing it's cute i like it i like it a lot all right the next thing in here i cannot believe i threw it into existence and i know that i thank you lord thank you jesus so I got a Valentino fragrance. This is a new Valentino fragrance called Maison, if I'm not mistaken. Look at how freaking cute this bottle is. First of all, besides it being cute, this fragrance smells amazing. It is like the perfect, you guys, I don't know if you did see it in my IG stories, but it is like the perfect mix of sexy and sophisticated and just deliciousness in a bottle and then could you imagine this in my vanity like do you guys want to see a review of all the fragrances that i have i would love to show you because there are so many now and they kind of cute the bottles are cute or whatever so what's next oh yes some skincare there's a ton of skincare there's a really good mix of stuff in here i'm so excited so this is the dr barbara sturm molecular cosmetic glow drops um, I haven't tried anything of this brand. Um, I have a couple of coworkers that have and they're not like super impressed. I don't know if that was meant to like fall apart like that, but I'm trying to get it open to show you guys and I cannot. Ooh, yeah, that's a little messy. Yeah, I don't think that was supposed to happen, but okay. Didn't really see a glow, but let's not be judgy. We're just doing a quick reveal. So this I'm super excited for. This is the Pharmacy Green Clean Makeup Melt Away Cleansing Balm. You guys know how I feel about makeup melting bombs. They are my jam. Um, Drunk Elephant has one that I'm obsessed with. So does Clinique. And this one, I've seen lots of clients coming into the store and purchasing, so I'm excited to see what that does. Moving right along, we have another fragrance. Yes! So this is a Chloe fragrance. I believe this is the original fragrance. I have, I have the Chloe Nomad, which I love. And I have the smaller version of like the other Chloe Nomad. There's two. One has a little more like a woody scent to it. This smells pretty. I haven't smelled it, but it's, again, another fragrance that's going on my little fragrance organizer in the vanity. So we have the Necessaire, the body lotion. Um, I have zero idea about the Necessaire. I have a lot of coworkers that were obsessed with the fact that we got this in gratis. I have the body lotion and the um, body wash. It's a multivitamin cleanse, nourish, and balancing routine. And then the lotion is a moisture, nourish, strength, and routine. So, um, we will see. We will see. Eucalyptus is what the body wash, and then the lotion is fragrance-free, which some of you guys might like that if you're sensitive to fragrances or you've just got sensitive skin, period. 
I see more drunk elephant, so we're gonna go for that. This is the Drunk Elephant TLC Frambois Glycolic Night Serum. Yes and yes. So this has got AHA and BHA blend as well as raspberry extract. This is a really good weekly exfoliating, chemical exfoliation routine. I would say weekly if you're someone who is um, normal combination. If you're drier, you might enjoy this a couple of times a week. Just try it out once a week first. And so what this does is is going to help to break down or undo a lot of that um, dull congested skin by gently lifting away the dead skin cells. This dramatically improves the appearance of skin tone, texture, fine lines, wrinkles, and pores. The results are obvious. Um, I actually gifted one of these to my stepmom. She has very dry, sensitive skin, and it was flaky and just irritated looking. And she was obsessed with this and could use it almost daily. So check it out. Don't sleep on it. The next item I'm very familiar with, and I'm actually excited to get a chance to try it again. This is the Grande Lash lash enhancing serum this does work i did see results there is no falling out like there is with the latisse however there was a little bit of discoloration on my eyelid so i will say that however within two to three weeks other people started seeing results before i saw results and when people started noticing i was like huh you're right i don't really want to wear false lashes as often because my lashes are bomb so try it here's list lipstick lipstick alert this is the YSL, the Slim Glow Matte in the shade 214. This looks like a pretty appropriate fall shade. That's what that shade looks like right there. Um, that's cute, that's cute. The formula felt really, really nice. Thank you, baby. have some more skincare to do, 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 do this is the Kiehl's clearly corrective dark spot solution it's going to clinically correct dark spots and discoloration I like this I like that it's in a pump I like that it looks like it's going to feel very soft and lightweight um, I actually don't use a lot of dark spot correctors. My husband does. He just had a lot of discoloration around his eye area. For whatever reason, there's just a lot of buildup of oil that just darkens his skin. And we've tried so far the um, Peter Thomas Roth Niacinamide color corrector, and he really likes that. It's helped a lot to brighten his skin. So I'm excited for him to try this once that's done to see how that affects his regimen. This says it has a complex of activated C, white birch, and peony. I'm going to have to look further in to see what other ingredients are that help to spot correct. I've got one more fragrance that I absolutely have to pull out. This is going to be for my hubby. So Tom Ford is one of our favorite fragrances for my husband. He likes YSL, he likes um, Dior, and he has liked the... Tom Ford Ombre Leather. This is a Tom Ford Black Orchid. First of all, this bottle is absolutely amazing. This can be a uh, men and a female fragrance. It's not gender specific. However, I don't really like it, but I think it would smell amazing on my husband. So I can't wait for him to try that. The next two items are Sephora collection items. There is a glow body cream, which is this guy right here. And then there is a super hydrating all day body hydrator like tub. So this seems more like my vibe. I like something that's a little richer, a little thicker, um, that's gonna keep my skin hydrated, especially if it's like my nighttime routine. I might do something a little more lightweight for during the day if I'm going to work. Um, this glow cream shimmer, I often find myself using my Anastasia glow drops or even my cover effects drops into my body cream, so I might like that, but I've never purchased a cream that already has a glow in it. It just reminds me of like a child. I don't know. So we will see. Ooh, there is a Versace box in here. Let's see what we got. Okay. This is cute. 
So there is a Versace, what is this, a clip? Magnet. Versace magnet, and then it's got a ton of Versace fragrances, both male and female. So we are definitely taking this on our trip today. I got a pair of Sephora lashes in Feisty. Sephora lashes are actually really, really good. They are some of my favorite lashes to use on clients and to use every day. And so the last thing in here is Shani Darden Skin Care. This is, must be a new brand that's coming to Sephora because I know nothing about this. But this is a retinal reform. So this is for clients who are looking to minimize the appearance of fine lines, wrinkles, uneven skin, dullness, and discoloration. It's great for dry, normal, oily, or acne prone skin. And the retinol, I'll show you what the packaging looks like, is um, used one to two pumps at night. Begin with the routine once or twice a week, and then um, you can use SPF during the day. Avoid using AHA products at the same time as the retinol. I don't know anything about this, but we will see. I don't use retinols often just because I get peels done monthly. So I might not use it, but we'll find out. We'll find out later. Um, one more item, last item. This is new to the people and it is their dream eye cream. I've used the mini size of this, travel size of this when I'm traveling. And so it's got goji stem cell, ceramides, hyaluronic acid, and vitamin C, which two of my main ingredients that I go to for skincare. So I will definitely be trying this out. This is what it looks like. It looks like a very jelly, lightweight, refreshing cream. So I'm excited to use this. Guys, that is it. It took us 17 minutes to go through all of the gratis that I got this month. I'm so excited. I hope that you guys like this video. If you do, don't forget to hit the thumbs up. Comment down below and rate all of these products. Tell me if you've tried it and loved it. I, if you want to know anything about any of these, I will absolutely answer your questions. But don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I post every Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday of every single week. And we have goals to get to 1,000 subscribers. And we're almost there. Thanks to you guys. Thanks to your support. So I love you, bless you, and I will see you guys next time.